it absolutely started off as just a complete version of Vanya. Um, and then the, the discovery that it might work just with one actor was entirely organic, entirely kind of accidental. I went to Simon Stevens to do a version of Vanya and then we knew it was Andrew who wanted from the beginning because he's one of the best actors in the world and I'm always trying to find things to work with him on. And so we got together in the room, started to read it, thinking that he would play Vanya. And it was only through a process of kind of organic discovery that we kind of stumbled upon the idea that not only might he be quite a good Vanya, but he could be a good Michael. And if he's a good Michael, he might be a good Alexander. And if he's a good Alexander, he might be a good Sonia. <laughs> and then maybe he should just do everything. It's just the opportunity to get to do Chekhov. I think he's um, he's just one of the greatest uh, ever playwrights. I just think that he understands humanity more like more more than any other hum human being um, alongside um, uh, Shakespeare. I think he understands comedy. Um, I think he understands our pain. And, uh, I just feel so grateful to be able to play all those amazing parts. We did a lot of work on uh, testing it out, like in, in the Jerwood space, a lot of it, and in private workshops. And um, yeah, we just kept pushing the form, really. And it stuck. It, every time we pushed, it seemed to give us something back. We never sort of reached a dead end with it, actually. And then there was a point where we had to take a massive leap of faith and go, we think there's enough kind of seeds in the ground for this to actually be, be kind of a thing. So Sam and I have made a couple of shows together, and that felt like a, a really sort of safe homecoming in a way. But uh, Andrew and Simon as artists, I've been inspired by them since I was sort of starting out and so to begin with like completely intimidating and a little bit like living a dream but quite quickly I think it's become clear that our brains all work in quite similar ways and also at times in different ways that push and pull each other in a really um, exciting direction. What's so liberating about doing this show is that it's not based on my cast ability and I think a lot, a lot of the time as actors there's lots of stuff that we'd like to play, but that um, we're not necessarily physically right for. So there's something very liberating about playing di different different people of different um, ages and genders and experiences and physicalities. But actually, what you're looking at is the is the the way the the, the sort of um, uh, mechanics of their mind is. People sometimes merge into each other, not because they're different, but because they're very very much the same. I also became really interested in. Um an idea of what it is to experiment around with character, but also the fact that all of these characters are so desperately looking for connection and understanding of each other and themselves. And that sort of drew us to where we all do that as theatre makers, it's rehearsal rooms, it's these strange kind of patchwork spaces that are full of history, but also abstraction, really specific nowheres. Um, but it just felt really natural that we ended up there. I think we've all of us in the past four years, known what it's like to be in an empty room, N known what it's like to have people leave, to be left on our own. The other thing that I think is true of the last kind of four years of theatre is that we've come to cherish the imaginative possibilities of storytelling and the imaginative possibilities of believing things that we can't see. And I think this production is a production that leans very heavily into the, the potency of the imagination. You know, we all co-created co the show together, we devised it all together, and um, yeah, you just have to keep the spirit of play alive. I always say that. You know, you've just got to be as inventive and to trust the audience. I think the audience like doing a little bit of um, detective work, and then you can, you, can, you can give them, steer them in a certain direction, and then you can let, let go of the, of the stabilizer, and you can uh, cycle freely um, once they they're, they're clear so hopefully um, hopefully it all worked out.